I just really liked that tranquility. People doing their regular strolls with children on one hand and dogs on the other hand. My name is Sophia Park. I'm a third year medical student out of UBC Medical School. I'm doing my third year in an ICC program. I, I thought that this program would give me some opportunity to do a lot of hands-on experiences and hands-on learning, especially in obstetrics or the maternity. And I thought being in a smaller rural community and in a community that has a lot of per capita birth rate would give me a good chance to achieve that. The whole process of creating a human being from scratch and then delivering it out into the world uh, was a really fascinating process for me. And so to be able to participate in that and then to facilitate that in some way was, I, I felt was a huge privilege. My first delivery was a C-section. Actually, it took place on the day I was on call for the first time. Um, there was no resident on that night. I walked in not knowing anything about what's gonna go, what's gonna go on. I'll be honest and then I'll say it was very scary. And at the end of it, you make an incision into the uterus and then you put your hand in and then you fish out a baby. And then the baby magically starts crying. And then like the baby is delivered directly onto the breast and it's just a very, very emotional and very like almost holy moment. I just remember just like standing there and in, in, in like utter awe. On the first couple of days when I arrived here, they were reaching out to me and then they were giving me a call and then they were coming by to say hello and really made me feel welcome and then answered any questions that I had about the city. Um, all the preceptors are so eager to have you there and then teach you and you get a lot of hands-on experience in a small community that really cares about you and your learning. With the ICC, you, you get to know these people so well because you work with them throughout the whole year that you actually get to see what a whole year in the life of a surgeon looks like or the whole year in the life of a rural family doctor, right? The guy whose apartment I took over, he left me a note with a six pack of beer and said, welcome to the Duncan ICC family. Prepare yourself for a wonderful but wild ride. I happened to be in obstetrics and a baby got delivered and I was there like holding up legs and <laughs> baby was coming out. I get so much hands-on experience, even when I'm with the surgeons, because I've worked with all the anesthetists before that, they say, okay, come back and, you know, practice your intubations, practice putting in this LMA bag valve mask and all that sort of stuff. And then you go help the surgeon. Here in Duncan, we try and mix it up. and. Uh, every week here in a family doctor's office, and then Monday looks different than Wednesday, looks different than Thursday, and looks different than Friday. Talking to people who have done the ICC, it's, and talking to people who work with people who have done the ICC, it's quite clear that the ICC makes really good doctors, and I looked at the ICC as a way to become a good doctor, and I think you get a really good uh, good look into what it is to practice in a small community. Every preceptor that I work with goes, you're here to learn, I get that, let's do this kind of thing. And so then working with the same family practice doctors every week and rounding on their family practice patients every morning in the hospital, they kind of say, Sam, I want you to act as though you are the most responsible physician. Write down what you think is going on, write down what you think we should do, and we'll figure out what's going on and we'll proceed, right? So I'm given a lot of independence and I think that's because I work with these people all the time. It's pretty calming to be out there and kind of just flog the water and it's just a beautiful spot where you can kind of go walk through the woods and then when you want, boot down to the river and fish some nice runs. Going sailing with Dr. Robinson was a riot. That is a super fun boat. Professionally, you get to do way more here than you ever would in, in a big center. You really have a, a nice relationship with your consultants and specialists that you rarely get in Vancouver. And um, it's, it's really just a, a very pleasant place to be a family doctor. I had a patient with a, a, a fairly significant uh, muscle problem that no one could figure out. He, he saw a merge doc, and me, he saw three different specialists. 
and, and nobody figured it out. And uh, so I put my I put uh, my medical student Kyle on it, and he came in uh, the next morning, and he he kind of kind of said, ah, gee, I, I I was doing some reading, and I I, I I have an idea what might be wrong with this guy, and and it turned out that he was absolutely right, and. Uh, we had to send him over to Vancouver to get an MRI and get all the hot shots to finally confirm that that was the case, but, but he got it. It's, it's fantastic to watch how they improve over the year because they really, they really actually become kind of doctors. The best thing about being a preceptor is getting to know the students, getting to know them beyond just medicine. I think the ICC program is a more real life experience than a lot of the larger center teaching hospitals. Rural medicine, I think it means going to where there is a great need for health care and being able to make an impact and caring for populations where there is just such a great need for, for medical care. One thing that I'm interested in is women's health. I just always found, um, I guess I had a keen interest in women's health in marginalized populations. I had a couple of patient interactions that I just found were really powerful, where interviewing a patient, they were opening up to me and I was able to kind of, I don't know, listen to their stories. And I think that's what inspired me and kind of helped guide me even further towards women's health. So we're gonna use go level up. Hospitals can be uh, kind of scary places to be a learner uh, at the very beginning of your career. In order to you know, become skilled at doing procedures, you need to practice. Uh, and to practice, you need to have the trust of the attending. You can kind of do away with all of that, uh, making a first impression and a second impression and uh, all of the angst and trouble and energy that goes into that. I, I think students learn by osmosis so much more than we think they do. The student learns so much by observation. I did you know, three or four arterial lines and maybe three or four central lines. And it was really fun to go to fourth year and do rotations uh, in VGH or St. Paul's and be able to tell my seniors, oh, I'm totally comfortable doing this. And I think it was, it was a little bit fun to blow them away. I am pretty dedicated to becoming the best uh, doctor that I can possibly be. I used to be a geologist, I loved being outside, I loved being in the mountains, um, but spending time in small towns in northern Canada, I fell in love with these communities where people live far from the services of a big city in a very different lifestyle than the one that I grew up in. Um, and I became very curious about that type of uh, existence. So I had this wonderful realization that I could put those two goals together and become a doctor in a small town, provide some of those services and get to live in these places that I really fell in love with. You know, coming back here for residency was pretty exciting. I don't think uh, anyone else gets hugs everywhere they go in the hospital. There's sort of one community of who I'd kind of consider to be my people maybe 30 or 40 uh, different folks that are interested in outdoor activities. You know, because it's a small place and you see the same people every day and they see you on your good days and bad days, uh, it really is uh, like a bit of a family. Both my hospital family and the, the actual community play a pretty big role in my life. I'm just the type of person that just dives into things. That's just how I've been from day one. When I learned how to ride a bike and just jumped on it. That's just my personality and, um, you know, I did the same thing with having a baby in medical school, you know, you, yeah, people would think that that sounds insane, but, you know, for people that know me well, it's, it, it's not out of character. Having a baby in third year medical school is really hard because it's the hardest year. It, and, uh, you know, what? I didn't know that. I didn't know that until going through it. Um, and I wouldn't have made it through it without the support of several people in the, in the trail ICC. One day there was a terrible snowstorm. Three feet of snow fell that night. And in the morning, my um, preceptor, Dr. Stark, texted me and she said, look outside, you're not coming in today. You just stay home, you spend the day with your baby. And that was, my, that was probably one of the best days of, of uh, the ICC program because I had been I hadn't got to spend much time with my daughter right because it was just busy and yeah that day I really yeah, enjoyed every second.
They were really, they were really there for me in many ways. It was, I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. I had a patient who died in front of me week one. You know, that's a lot. It's a lot to juggle and handle. And um, you, yeah, you you learn quickly that medicine is a strange world, but an interesting one. I was really interested um, in the physiology and, and, and how we worked and how disease affected us and from the science behind it. Um, and I was also interested in helping people, but I didn't know what that looked like and I didn't know how that would work. Um, and I didn't know I didn't know that until now, having had a whole year, you know, actually working with people and realizing um, the effect that you can have just by interacting with someone and, and how um, I think you get a lot back from the job, a lot more than you know you are going to. That was something that I didn't really realize that I would enjoy so much, but, and, and I think that's a big reason why I'm, I want to do what I do and why I'm here and excited to be a doctor. The hardest part is definitely like if you've ever been traveling and you go to a country that you don't speak the language and know nothing about the culture and you didn't do any research and you don't even know what it, where you're going to stay that night and then you land there and you're like I don't even know how to get anywhere out of this airport right now. That's the feeling when you start in your third year and you're like what's the, yeah I'm supposed to be in a merge or surgery or whatever but I don't know how to put on gloves. That first year it's a big change. And somehow it works. I just figure it out. But within a year, you kind of, you're like, oh, I get the language, I know how this works, and you start to feel comfortable and a part of something. My name's Nick Linewebber. We're in Roslyn here, this is where I live. Happy to be living back in the Kootenays after finishing long road of training. It's very similar to the town and the kind of feel that I grew up with, like small, uh, tight-knit community, very outdoor orientated. I work as an emergency physician at uh, Kootenay Boundary Regional Hospital down in Trail, which is about 10 minutes away. And that's a cool kind of feel to be on the other end of it now because I wasn't there, like it wasn't very long and I was in their shoes. And then you get the new group in and they've been here for a couple of weeks or something and you can see they're like wide-eyed, they're like, you know, not sure, grab the chart, don't grab the chart, where do I stand, am I in the way? So you just gotta put them at ease a bit and be like, no one's gonna bark at you here. So I think we've decided that this is home and we bought some property this year. By this time next year we'll be in a home that we built. It'll be a place our kids will grow up in. This is home. I'm Dr. John Chow, I'm a family physician in Chilliwack, BC. I'm a preceptor for the third year integrated clerkship program. The reason I moved to Chilliwack is I like the great outdoor experience here. I'm an avid fisherman and that was a, a major appeal to be in close proximity to the great outdoors and able to fish uh, the same day I'm working. A successful ICC student at the end of third year are, are basically almost autonomous. One example was my clerk from four years ago. This patient came in with an inflamed, quite painful ingrown toenail and the eMERGE physician was not familiar with performing a radical wedge excision of ingrown toenail. And she had to coach him through that to teach him how to do this technique. And uh, he was very impressed by that. It's very satisfying to see them excel uh, in what they're doing. As a preceptor and, and mentor, that that's, uh, brings great personal satisfaction. I was really grateful that I got to do the Chilliwack Integrated Clinical Clerkship in my third year. I had a really great experience and it was a big deciding factor why I decided to come back to the Fraser Valley for continuing my medical education. My name is Ellie, a first year family medicine resident in Abbotsford. We're in my new house. Uh, we just bought a townhouse here in Langley um, and so we had just moved in the other day so we've still got boxes here. I'm also married. I have a nine-year-old daughter. Her name's Talisa. There was a lot of nature for us to explore. Uh, we often went to the rivers or on hikes uh, with our, our golden retriever. As I drive in from Vancouver, I just feel my shoulders drop as I drive through the farmlands. Uh, I actually never thought about medicine as a future career. Uh, I actually wasn't a very good student at all. I actually wasn't thinking about continuing my education. 
When I was 16, I actually found myself pregnant. Uh, I was single at the time. I uh, wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Having gone through my pregnancy, I had a lot of contact with the healthcare profession. Not seeing uh, any Indigenous representation of the healthcare system was a motivating factor for me to go into the healthcare field. I had no idea what I could possibly do once I got there, but I figured as long as I try and once I get there, hopefully I'll be able to figure out how I could be a voice or an advocate. It wasn't always easy. Sometimes I felt, well, I'm not sure if I could do this, but you, you persevere and you do it and you learn from it and you grow. It was really because of the Chilliwack ICC that I was able to, to learn at a faster pace be challenged more in a, in a growth mindset way. Doing a program like this offers you the opportunity to keep living your life and experiencing whatever kind of adventure you want to keep experiencing in your life. You're going to be doing the hospital work and doing the medicine part like you would anywhere. But at the same time, you're going to become a part of a, of a really cool, unique community. It's a lot more than just med school. It's going to change your, the direction of your life.